Hello world, my name is Ben and this is AnyLogic 101, a YouTube channel where I discuss quick tips and tricks that I've learned about AnyLogic over the years. Today I want to talk about something very important that's called profiling. So imagine you've built a model, it's big, fat, it's complex, it gets slower and slower and you wonder why the hell is this so slow? Now there are various ways to find that out but the most advanced one and probably most far powerful one is called profiling where you run the model and you actually run a different program that checks what's going on in that program and calculates which part of your program uses up most computing power most memory uh, and it can show you it can lead you to some problematic areas so for example you could have written a, a while loop that just does stuff unnecessarily often um, so it's it's very powerful. Let's have a look at how it works. It's something that does not come with any logic. It comes with Java. So let's assume I've opened um, an any logic example model, this autoclaved aerated concrete factory, probably one of the heaviest any logic example models out there. Pretty cool. It looks really nice. And let's start it. Here we are. It's a factory. Uh, and you can have fun with it. Now, let's assume this model is too slow. We want to know what, what's going on. Why is it so slow? So what you do is you need to install, first of all, the Java Development Kit, JDK. Um, once you've done that, in your um, Program Files folder, there's going to be a folder Java, and then JDK with some version number. You go there, you go into the subfolder bin, and in there, after all that, you will find a little file called jvisualvm, virtualmachine.exe. And while you let any logic run, while the model is running, all you do is just open that little tool. Let me size it appropriately. Now, what's going on here? Not much at the moment, but you can see actually locally it has already picked up that something called any logic is running. So what you need to do is you need to tell it to actually start monitoring it, which is a simple double click. And now a new tab is opened where you get some details. You can see it is doing some monitoring, but the interesting thing is if you start the sampler and actually start sampling what's going on. Just click on CPU. And what it's now doing is it is ranking the different CPU processes that the model is using by the percent of time that they're needed. So if you have a very, if you have a nice and well-defined model and it's efficient, your sampling should look like this, i.e. complete gibberish. Like nothing here uh, <laughs> makes sense or is recognizable in your model. You know, there's no any logic function here that you can see. These are all processes that happen below, behind the scenes, and that's fine. For example, the dot park is basically nothing is happening. Um, the model is still running, but it doesn't really eat too much memory. It doesn't cause any problems. So this is most of the time everything is fine and safe. And these other ones are also not specifically high level any logic, i.e. nothing that you created. So it's all fine. The same with memory. Um, here, what you see is what kind of data structures are using the memory most. That can also be interesting. You can see array lists play a big role. Um, and sometimes you have a, a specific data structure and it eats up all the memory and that shows you there's a data leak somewhere. You probably don't need that. So let's see how we can make, how we can trigger this and change this. What I've done is in this model, I've created another event. I'm calling it once every millisecond. Let's even make that crazy often, more often once, 10 times every millisecond. I'm just trace lining something all the time. It's a cyclic event. So if I start this or if I restart the model, we can in the um, profiler, we can close this one. Let's wait until the model is started. There we are. And let's start the model. You can see already that things seem to be moving a lot slower. And if we go back into our profiler now, 
go into the sampler and start sampling, what you should be able to see is there is this print line, which we didn't have before, which is the same as trace line. So we can see a fair amount of the CPU is actually busy print lining stuff now. Now, if you, in any logic, if you had done that via function or something, my function, that would show up here. So if you profile your model and you see functions up here that are eating a fair chunk of uh, CPU time, that's a good pointer that something is weird there. Normally that shouldn't happen unless it is a function that absolutely has to happen every 0.1 milliseconds in the model very very often so that's how you profile your model in simple terms it can be very useful in my experience normally it's the last resort normally if you know a little bit about uh, how to structure models and how it should all work there are different ways that you typically check first but it is also towards the end of building a big, big model a nice sanity check are there any memory leaks are there any unnecessary CPU time that I'm eating away with trace lines or whatever. So it's good to know about it. It's good to keep it in mind. Um, and it's fairly easy to get used to and learn. Good. I hope that was helpful. Thanks a lot and see you soon. Bye.